All right, all right. It's the boy. Welcome back. Credit K YouTube channel. Talk about business credit, personal credit, finance, crypto, anything help you level up in life. We about that. No long talk, no long intros. I got a pure, no PG business credit card that hardly no one's talking about on YouTube or on social media, period. And I finally got my card in the mail after some uh, address mishaps, but really not too sold on this card. I'm going to get into some things that they do um, that kind of got me on a fence about actually using it. Um, so first of all, like I said, no PG, no personal guarantee required. Now, you know, with those, it comes with you have to have some revenue. So this is not for brand new businesses. But if you are a brand new business, I'm going to show you a hack how to get around the kind of the revenue part towards the end of the video. So stay tuned. So for this card, since it's a true business credit card, no PG, they would not be doing any credit checks whatsoever. But you do have to have $3,000 worth of monthly revenue for at least three months, past three months rather. All right. So three months, $3,000 or more, and you can get qualified for this card. Uh, how they check that, you know, if it's plant, the FinTech platform, you connect your bank account to the um, software and they read, you know, how much revenue is coming in, or you can send bank statements in through them. So a uh, little more data points around here. Uh, this bank is backed by Cross Rivers Bank. Um, you can see the card here. There's a card. It'll pay this. And he activated it. Yeah, he took the stick off this thing. But yeah, it's pay this card. A little, little black card action. Cool. But um, came with a pin number as well. So I can use it uh, for some cash advance purposes. Which is great for business credit products. Because as we know, that's not report on your personal credit report. So you don't have to worry about that utilization and the debt. The DTI, the debt to income showing up when you're going to apply for other credit cards. So back by Cross River Bank, um, Pavis is the name of the actual credit card and the company you go through. Now, here is what I really didn't like about the card is it has to be attached to some type of payment processing system. So what they do is every time you spend, either you can they hook up with their bank or you can connect you know, your payment process, which you already have. I'm already using Stripe. So that's why I got it hooked up through. So every time I make a purchase through Stripe, 10% of that earnings or that revenue goes to paying down the balance of the credit card or raising your credit limit. So if I don't spend any money and they take 10%, then that 10% goes to my credit limit. So right now I have a credit limit of $3,500. You know, personal information on now. As you can see, 35 right there. 35. So I got a $3,500 credit limit. Um, like I said, kind of congruent to what I had in my bank account at the time. They do go up to $10,000. So $10,000 is the max that they're going to give you. Sorry, it's not a big, large credit card offer. But like I said, with being a true PG. You know, it's, you really can't beat it. But the way that they have the repayment set up, I can't just go in and pay a minimum balance or pay all in full, which I guess I could. But they, they're going to automatically take their money out. And that's where kind of these banks are going, especially if they're not going to PG, they're not going to hold your personal credit report, um, you know, reliable for any, you know, thing that you may miss. They're going to get their money up front. So they're, like I said, they're taking up to 10%. I think they may even go up to like 30%, depending on um, what type of agreement they work out with you. So mine is 10% of the revenue. And then in the other 90% goes uh, to my regular Stripe account and goes to my other bank account for business purposes that I can pay down and everything like that. Okay, so that is, um, you know, the pay this. In the general of course, as always, we're going to hop onto the website, going to show you the link and everything, how to apply. Um, when you're going through the application process, um, they usually hook you up with a, uh, you know, a 
manager or a director that kind of guides you through the process. It's a quite a bit of paperwork you got to send in. You know, I'm going to go through everything that they required. Um, like I said, the process took a while because I had to get like some, you know, show them my statements from Stripe, sending that information so they can get everything connected and everything like that. So the process was, you know, kind of long, you know, regarding other credit cards, but you guys, it still may be worth it just off the no PG alone. I'm gonna let you guys decide for yourself. Let's go ahead and hop on into the website and get some more information. All right, so we are in the website. Now you see it right here, Pavis. That's the card I just show you. Enjoy business credit card plus payment processing with no personal guarantee. So I said, if you don't have payment processing already, they give you that payment processing is, you know, taking credit cards through your website or in person through this company. Uh, let's make it bigger for you. So for pay this business visa card, no personal guarantee. I'm going to keep on harking on that because that's really the best part of having this card. You know, I keep it real on this channel. Um, it's not report to personal credit and that's part of no personal guarantee. Uh, limits can grow your business. Also it grows business credit. So, um, you know, they report to the SFBE and Equifax, business at the time they could be reporting to Dun and Bradstreet and Experian in the future um this car I just found out it kind of went away for a while it was you know founded in 2018 uh went away around 2020 and came back towards the uh, beginning of this year qualification to get approved you need to be a U.S. owner with a social security number sorry uh foreign entities or Anybody that's here on the visa, three months time in business. So like I said, kind of hard to be a new business, but like I said, three months, that's not that long. Most require you be in business two years. And then we got, uh, you know, 3000 monthly revenue, legal business, not in bankruptcy. So your business has to be in great standing, $3,000 monthly, three months in business, and then an owner. And then you go through a whole process of you no know, submitting information. Um, there is a one-time fee. Forgot about that. Uh, $99. I forgot I even paid that. It's been so long ago since I signed up for this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use this car at least once or twice to, you know, take a, at least get this uh, $99. You'll qualify for a refund. If we cannot get the business approved. Okay. So yeah, so you have to do that $99, but if they don't get approved, they'll refund you within 30 days. Uh, of course you can't be, you know, any gambling, any marijuana type business. Sorry, dispensaries. This won't work for you guys. APR on the card uh, is 18%. And some other things the default goes up. Required purchasing cash advance, cash advance fee. Like I said, I'll probably use this for a cash advance real quick. Pull some money off. Buy some more crypto or some gold or silver. And we buy assets over here. And then keep it moving. So that's um, there. And like I said, like I said, it's backed by Cross Rivers Bank. So this is a you know national federal insured bank that he worked with a lot of fintech companies. Divi, here's another credit card that's no PG full business credit card, but don't think with Divi you have to pay everything back in 30 days, the full amount in 30 days, not just the minimum. Um, you know, Stripe, my payment processing upgrade is some more fintech. All these are like fintech type companies that they work through. And, you know, some of the things like that. So you can probably just go ahead and go straight to Cross Rivers Bank. I'm pretty sure they got some, uh, see if they got any products. So they kind of go off of everybody else for their product. That's probably what it is. They, like they got some CDs. 
with no credit cards or anything like that. Okay, cool. And that's that. And then uh, here's some more information about Pavis. One small business credit card that pays itself down. I said it pays itself down with every transaction you make through your payment processor. That's why they're making sure they give you a payment processor or they uh, make you attach the one you already have. Don't use personal funds up to $10,000. And uh, like I said, daily sediment, pay down, all that good stuff. Set payment, split settlement allocation. So that's pretty much all the details. Like I said, no personal guarantee. One of the few true business credit cards, along with Sam's Club, Trapago, from the ones you have longer, you know, payment periods. Uh, you know, another one, Divi, but like I said, that's more of a corporate card. You only got three, 30, 30 days to pay back. So there you go. Talk to your payment processor. Ask about expanding your payment previous. Salesforce funded. And that's where I log in at. Where do you go to apply though? Oh, I don't know. Where did I go to apply? Actually, I forgot. I did. I went through credit plugs link. Credit Plug was one of the only person I saw talking about this on his channel, and I went through his link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find his link and paste it in the description below. And I assume they're still taking uh, people. I'm not sure. But like I said, you come to this uh, website here, type in your email address, and then you kind of go through the process of uh, signing up. On here, so I'm gonna link down there below as well. All right, all right. And then, okay, okay, okay. So I actually forgot <laughs> to <clears throat> tell you guys how to, you know, hack or get around the revenue part. Go ahead and insert this in the video. So if you are a brand new business and you have not been generating any revenue for the past three months, this is what you do. Hopefully. If you haven't been generating revenue, revenue revenue for your business, you've been generating revenue through your personal bank accounts. You have a job, you know, you have some type of income. So what you do, you just attach your personal bank account to the platform. Um, hopefully you're making 3000 a month. If not, what you do, you get you a personal loan. Personal loan can be getting from any numerous websites that got couple of personal loan um, companies on this channel that I talked about. That's not the point. Find you a personal loan. They're very easy to qualify for, especially with low credit scores. Your debt consolidation loan. So when you apply for them, say you're doing debt consolidation, and then you'll get you a loan, $20,000, $30,000, and then you can funnel that through your business bank account for three months and then get the pay this credit card. All right. All right. Free game. Jim for sticking around. All right. Okay. And so that is the pay this, no personal guarantee business credit card. All right. So go ahead, apply. If you like, just remember, you're going to have to attach a payment processor and a portion of your proceeds, your money that you work hard to earn is going to go to paying down the balance or raising your credit limit up. All right. Next time we out, baby.